Hey there and welcome back to the video series about how you can create a REST API using Firebase. We need to set up Firebase now and create a project so we can use this for our API. And we need to visit this URL, console firebase google.com. And this is going to take us to the Firebase console and you need to be logged in with a with one of your Google accounts. Um, but we click add project. Then we get this enter project name and we could type Firebase CRUD REST API, something like that. Click continue and then it will ask us if we want to enable Google Analytics for this project. And that could, could come in handy if we have um, a mobile application that we want to test, have some uh, reporting regarding how it's being used and also uh, crashes and so but we don't need this for this project here, so I'm just gonna deselect it. And you also need to have a Google Analytics account to use it. So we will deselect it here and create project. And then Firebase is gonna create our new awesome project. So now we can see that our new project is ready. That is awesome. And we click continue and we get, we get to the Firebase uh, operation panel or the place where we can uh, manage our our project here and we can see it's being used for ios and android and the web and also for unity but the first thing that we need to do is that we need to go to database because we will have to store some data in this uh, rest api and we can select between cloud firestore and also real-time database and the real-time database is kind of the first database that was introduced with firebase um, that enables you to have real-time updates. Um, if you want to have uh, more, yeah, it says more powerful queries, they say themselves, and better automatic scaling, um, Cloud Firestore is kind of the second uh, generation of the database. So we will choose Cloud Firestore. So we click Create Database. And then it's going to ask us uh, how the security should be. Uh, should we start in production mode or in test mode? If we go into production mode, it's going to be private. It's going to, uh, we can't write anything. We can, uh, we can read, but we can't write. For this project, it's only going to be a test project uh, for this. So it, we just select start in test mode and that will, uh, the impact will be that it's going to be open for 30 days. It's going to be wide open so we can uh, read and write. And then afterwards, Firebase is automatically going to shut down the database basically, or if we don't change the security rules. So we just click on next, and then we need to select a, um, a location for this. So that naturally depends on where you are located in the world. Uh, there are both multi-region and also regional uh, servers around the world. I'm located in Europe, so I'm just gonna select Europe West and then it will create our database. All right, so now we can see that we have a Cloud Firestore database and it is empty right now. We can create a collection, which we will do later on. And if we head over to rules, we can tighten the security for the database uh, using these database rules. And we're not gonna go so much into depth with this in this REST API, but uh, there are plenty of documentation about this if you search on the net. Okay, so this is uh, almost done for the video. We have the database. Uh, just the last thing is that this um, this little tool icon here, we can see the project settings. And that is gonna take us to, yeah, the settings for the project. And before we can make this work with, um, with an application, we need to create an application. And this is the supported platforms. And we're gonna use the web. So we can click on uh, add Firebase to your web app. And then we need to register an app. And we're just gonna put in Firebase uh, CRUD API or whatever you wanna put in there. And we don't need Firebase hosting at the moment. We, we could also do that. So we click on register app. And then we can see we get a lot of information from Firebase, and this is uh, the code that we need to put into our JavaScript 
to actually connect to the database. So we can see we have the database URL and we have something uh, something else also. We are including the JavaScript Firebase um, dependency here. But uh, we click on continue to console. That is it for this. And we can always go back to review these settings by clicking on this project settings. And then in the bottom, we can see the connection code here. I think this concludes um, pretty much about this video about how we set up Firebase and the database and the, the web API or the web, uh, the JavaScript app here. So this is it for this video and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna uh, start actually coding this app here. All right, thanks for watching, bye-bye.